Hello, my most amazing artist, Bat Girl here. Today we're going to be making some harvest corn. This is what mine looks like finished. Uh, kind of looks kind of gross. Well, this is our corn, and then next week we will cut the corn out and we will use this kind of scribbly part for the husk, the papery part that goes around the corn once it's dried out. So let's get started. So once the video is over, you're going to stand up and you are going to walk over here to my supply table. And if you notice, there is a whole tray full of colored paper. You are going to pick your favorite color or just any color that you'd like for the project. And you're going to write your name on it because Miss Kilgore normally writes your name on your paper. But since you're picking your own paper, you have to do it. Be sure your name is on your paper. That is the first thing you need to do. When you get your paper, you just go back to your seat, write your name, and then you may begin the project. All right, I chose purple because purple is my favorite color. And I know that harvest corn has a lot of dark kernels. It's not just yellow like we think of regular corn. So the first thing I'm going to draw is the outline of my corn. So you need to think about what corn on the cob looks like. You can draw two if you'd like, or just one. It's your choice. On this paper, I drew two, and I don't know what I'm going to do on this paper. I think I might just draw one big one. So, I kind of start with a horizontal line, and then corn is going to kind of come down to a point. And corn is can be an irregular shape. It doesn't have to be straight and perfect. So, that's how I'm going to begin. Now, I'm going to take my quick sticks or my tempera sticks and I'm going to create the kernels. So, you can use all the colors and I'm going to do this and just kind of speed it up, but I just kind of put these in there randomly. So, your paint sticks work like a glue stick. You have to roll them up and roll them down. You're going to paint just random little sideways ovals, horizontal ovals to be the shape of a corn kernel. You might have some circles in there, but I think corn kernels are more short and flat than they are round. So we'll have some corn in the room that you can look at, but use lots of different colors and fill up your whole shape of corn. Okay, now I am going to take my quick sticks and I'm just gonna kind of paint around the background. No rhyme or reason. What we'll do is we will cut these out next week and then we'll tear the background to create the corn husk. So I'm going to think about what colors the corn husk may be and I'm just going to kind of paint in my background. Now I'm just scribbling to get it painted in and finished. If you don't have a lot of time left, that's what you may have to do. If you look at the picture to the left of my picture, I colored that one in a lot neater. So you can also choose to do that. You can take your time, but the background needs to have paint on it. I added white here and then the yellow shows up. Oh my goodness, it shows up so much better. Okay. When I'm finished, this needs to go on the drying rack. Remember, we put four pieces on the drying rack. I'm going to show you a picture of what that looks like. Have fun. <laughs> 